viewer, welcome to a brand new episode of Fast Foods Fast. This is the show where we learn about all the fast foods that God gave us and how fast you could actually fix them in your own kitchen. I am your host, Lois Otiende, and this is my co-host... Tabitha Ocheng. And together we are going to be rolling out some very interesting recipes for you today. So stay tuned, keep your eyes on the show and your ears with us, and be keen to know what we are going to do today. So, Tabby, what are we preparing today? Pies, pies. Hmm. Pies. What? Huh. Pies, that's exciting. So, we have two nice recipes mm -hmm. for you today. One is the shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. And the other, just hold on a bit. So, we'll just get started with the shepherd's pie. Okay. So, let us have a look at some of the ingredients that we're going to use for this pie. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. so, so, we're going to use carrots. We've had them uh, chopped, cubed. We're going to use here marinated soy chunks. Marinated soy chunks. And very soon we will get you to know what you need those for, how beneficial they are for you. Of course, we will also use our onions, garlic, and parsley all kept in here ready for chopping onion parsley and garlic we are also going to use capsicum red capsicum we will also use tomatoes and of course spring onions of course there's a reason I say that, because that is and one of my... Definitely, she's going to put salt. <laughs> yes, salt. You know, it is so part of cooking that sometimes we fail to look at it as an mm, ingredient, but it is. Why not to put salt so in this pie? important. Mm -hmm. The other thing we're going to use are potatoes. Which, which we had pre-steamed and mm. will be ready for this recipe. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, that is it. As okay. soon as you're ready, we're now, ready to go. See how fast this fast food is going to be. Uh -huh. So we're just going to mix up everything, throw it in the oven, and then you're done. You can spend that time doing something else. That is So do you need a mixing bowl? Um, not exactly. Not I think now. I'll be fine because I just point. need to chop, chop these. Mm -hmm. They're washed and ready. Just chop, chop the onions, chop, chop the tomatoes, and I'll go right there to start the cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you could just open up that. Yeah, the tomatoes, the onions, the garlic. So it's just as long as you take chopping up some of these things, then the pie bit is nearly done. And Lois, why pies? Someone may ask. Almost like the one pot meals. <laughs> You put all your things in one place, yes, and it cooks all at the same time, mm -hmm. and then you have your meal ready within just the nick of time. Right. And I'm thinking, sometimes as families, we want to do potlucks, we mm -hmm. want to, you know, go out and have something out there, and you don't want to carry so much. So she'll there. be putting this into the cooking pot. Into the cooking pot. Okay. And then just go about chopping what something else that we need. Yeah, tomatoes. we need the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and they'll go in together. Will you want to put the carrots at the same time? Uh, uh, the carrots will come in a little later. Okay. Yeah, so we'll start with tomato and onions and garlic. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll have so that ready. Your you know, garlic I, I was, is here. I was thinking. I was thinking. Lois, mm -hmm. uh, we are doing a lot. We are doing so much steaming, boiling, and throwing things in the oven. Of course, we are and avoiding somebody... using so much <laughs> oil in our meals. That's one. Mm -hmm. But the question that's bothering me, mm -hmm. why not the microwaves? <laughs> it's quick. <laughs> Radiation. Remember, that is not very good for your health, so avoid so much use of microwaves. Yes, so we are talking fast, fast foods fast, but we are not encouraging anyone to use... Radiation. Mm -hmm. Not good for you at all. Okay, I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. 
Okay, so I will assist her with this. Yep, please. You need, could I chop for you this garlic or you will do it? What I'll ask you to do is to light up the, the stove so that we have this going. That's done. So I'll put this on heat. Yeah. We have that going. As soon as my onion is done, I'll be ready to start. We're talking about shepherd's pie. You know, it's so different from the regular pies because the regular pies have a crust. This one has something else. We are not going to have a crust, but instead we're going to have potato. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're and going to have potato. Of course, bring in the name shepherd. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is our shepherd. Mm -hmm. And he leads his flock. Where? To the right, the, the paths of righteousness. So the good thing about this, making this kind of pie is, of course, you can always think through about the, what, how it uh, helps you in your spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can make reference to Christ, the, who is our good shepherd. Our good shepherd. And he will always lead us, his flock, into uh -huh. the right path. The right path. Wow. So, of course, so. as it will be going into the oven, mm -hmm. so that's... You may want to do that devotion and read about that in the Bible. You can have just a little oil. Remember, not much. Not much oil. That's there we go. That's good. That's good. All right. So, we are going to add in the carrots at this point. Uh-huh. And carrots, carrots are just about in all this. Regime. Lovely. Because of Do you ever think benefits. of cooking without them? Because of all the benefits. And what's more, mm -hmm. the color. You know, it just adds that beautiful, beautiful color to whatever meal it is that you're making. I think she just likes the sugar in them. Uh, that's true, but there's also the goodness. <laughs> all you right. Know? You talk so, of carrots, you're reminded of carotene. Good okay. for the eyes and yeah, why wouldn't I need that? So I'm going to chop for her the parsley. The parsley, yes. She's going to use this in a little while. Okay, so I may need to cover this to just steam it for a little bit. Okay, there we go. Just okay. So, that so that's fine. Could I do the capsicum as well? Yes, kindly. But I'll have this. Whatever is ready, we throw in. Whatever is ready, we throw in. Because... Okay. So of course, capsicum, it has some seeds, but for this recipe, we are not going to use it. Feel free if you like your seeds inside your pie. Ah, parsley, that aroma. <laughs> It's nice. Parsley just brings it out. That is good. Okay. And okay, so I'm just about done with this capsicum. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. So we'll put that in, then we'll follow that up with the... The, the soy chunks. The soy chunks. Marinated the, soy chunks. And roasted. Yep. it. Or just, you could dry it as well. That's... Do you have okay. a specific uh, ingredient that you enjoy in the marinade for soy chunks? For soy chunks. Or you just put in I anything? Love, hmm, I love paprika. I'll have some paprika in here. And of course, my salt. Garlic powder. You may want to... I've already done garlic. So, no, I'm saying mm, when yeah. you're doing your marionette, ah, ah. it tastes very nice. Good. So that is done. So the final thing that we are putting in there is the marinated and roasted soy okay. chunks. Just some salt before the final. <laughs> Just, okay, we'll do it a bit more, a bit more. Yeah. Yep. I think that's good. Okay. That's good. So I think think if this, we it's yes, time now yes. for us to add in this. the soy chunks you want all this in mm, 
Let's see. I, I, I Let's know see. she likes the meaty, meaty. She, she's <laughs> yeah, trying to be mild. But Lois, we've put so much else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the soy chunks to disappear. <laughs> Give me all of it. Yes. <laughs> Thank eventually, you. it was going to Thank go in you. there, all of it. So <laughs> <laughs> there was no need to make us think that she was going to be temperate with it at all. All right. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So this will steam mm -hmm. just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just so that um, so we we'll have it. Yeah. Okay. We'll steam just a little bit. Okay. And I'm tempted to assist you. Just scrape <laughs> off. <laughs> That's fine to the side. So we are done with the potatoes. Now we are going to add in some desiccated coconut in there. As I do the mashing. And quickly we will be mixing this up mm -hmm. in readiness to put it in the oven. Yep. So this was pre-measured. Just about okay, that's it. half Two. a cup. Mm. That's it. So that's enough. Okay. So, so this is also done. It's ready for the mix. Mm -hmm. uh, the potato is done. It's nice. So that is fine now. Okay. So I'll if grab we could a get a casserole. Oil it. Just lightly grease it. And we are ready to go. So our mix will go down. And we cover it with a potato. And we have our shepherd's pie. Is that okay with you? This is fine. Okay. This is fine. Remember, not too much oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll do this. Mm -hmm. And then just cover it mm -hmm. with our... Ah, looks nice. And smells good as well. Yep. Unfortunately, we cannot okay. give you the smell. Good. So mm -hmm. next... We just quickly cover this with our mashed potato. Mm -hmm. Mashed potato. All you want to do is to make sure it is nicely covered. And if I could get mm -hmm. a fork maybe. A fork. Okay. So our oven is ready, Lois, isn't it? Yes. We okay. So just quickly cover Preheated that. It for about mm -hmm. 10 minutes at maximum heat. That is good. 225, our oven is 225. Yeah. So depending on what kind of oven you're using, if it's 180, you might preheat it for 15 minutes. If it's 200, it's, if it's 300, you might just need to preheat it for about seven minutes. So our shepherd pie is ready to go into the, the oven. oven. Okay, Look, so we are nice. going to throw that into the oven and we are going to take a break and we'll be right back to introduce the other pie that you don't want to miss out on. Welcome back. After the break, we will proceed with our zesty apple pie. I can't zesty. wait for this one. Mm -hmm. huh, what makes it zesty? Now, this recipe has what we did call that <laughs> a little bit of zested lemon soaked in lime mm -hmm. juice. Mm -hmm. And that helps you to make some organic lemon zest without necessarily wow. buying that which is unhealthy. Unhealthy and yes. not cheap. Mm -hmm. mm. No, mm. this is very healthy. And of course, you can get it anytime. At home. Mm -hmm. Good. So some of the things that we are going to throw into this recipe are mm. one, we soaked, pre-soaked about eight dates just to make them a little bit soft. Mm. And of course, for the taste, we know dates are very sweet. Yes. Now, this is what we made. This is what we are the calling zest. our organic lemon zest because mm -hmm. we made it our own way. Feel free to do it your own style. Okay. We are also going to use organic brown sugar, just about half a cup of that. Then we are also going to throw in a bit of uh, desiccated, desiccated coconut. coconut. Goes very well with the lemon zest. Mm -hmm. And of course, a pinch of salt, very little, because you want to have more of sugar in this yes. than salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. And definitely, we are not going to forget our apples. Just need about seven to eight apples. We mm -hmm. have decided to pick on seven apples. Uh -huh. And some cinnamon to flavor it. And of course, a little bit of coconut, coconut oil. oil. 
And we cannot forget making our crust. For the crust, that is what we are going to throw into the filling. For the crust, we are going to have a whole wheat, wheat flour. flour. Whole, don't oh. use all purpose or the, <laughs> un, the bleached one. Just do the whole, work with it. It's a bit challenging, but you will make it for sure. So that, and of course, just a little bit of water. Water. Right? Mm -hmm. So I think we should proceed. We should be ready Remember, to start. Remember, we are doing a fast food, and mm -hmm. we need to do it fast. fast. So we will begin by, she will chop the apples, okay. and I okay. will do the crust. Mm -hmm. And as we do that, we are hoping that we will do this, of course, very fast. Yes. The, the apples, we mm -hmm. will need to seed them, mm -hmm. remove the seeds. So, yeah. Good. I have never seen someone who likes apple pie with their <laughs> seeds in there. <laughs> but feel free. Remember that you will not be tied to what we're doing on the show. If you feel like you like your seeds in your pie, then have your seeds in the pie. You know, Lois, what you're not saying is that seeds are good anytime. Mm -hmm. And we actually encourage the use of seeds. Like as you eat your apples, you need to eat, chew them up, chew up your seeds. But in this particular case, we are saying we will remove the seeds because of the pie. So this flour was pre-measured, just about two and a half cups, but just use quantities that you're comfortable working with. Probably you're making pie for just yourself or <laughs> if you're doing it for this number of people fine and if you want to just give your crust some taste Tabi I'll mm. ask you to help me with this because okay. my hands already that's fine should have put it earlier but <laughs> well just a bit it of is stuff. never too late just put it in the water okay that we just want to give our crust some salty taste just a little bit so yep. that it's not so plain. Mm. Um, so let me give that just a little stir so that it mixes well. Okay. So this is involving, well? a little bit involving, but yeah. But you, you will, like will the, love you it. You will love the effort. You will okay? love it. Mm -hmm. You love the, f the fact that you actually took your time to make it <laughs> when you will experience something very interesting in your mouth. <laughs> Okay, now I'll want to add just a little bit of this flour. Well, some people like their crust very hard. And of course it's crust, so <laughs> can it really be soft? <laughs> <laughs> if, it's if it's soft, it'll be chapati. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we making? We are doing crust. So. Yeah, anyway, please. Uh, well, you can use the same recipe you use to make your chapati, only like for this one, you, you didn't want to add so many things to it because you are doing a pie crust. Okay? Yeah. The many things are in the mix. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the filling. Okay. So I want to put in a little bit of water. This usually has a very funny sound. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you mix. Can you hear that sound? Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. As, as you mix. My children like this sound. <laughs> they do. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. That means they're all over you when you're cooking. Uh, and especially when you're doing this course. apple pie. Wow. Definitely. Who doesn't want to be around? And the only thing you need to do is make sure that the apples get to be in the pie because <laughs> times, <laughs> sometimes they chew them all up. It's yeah? not easy to <laughs> ensure that you'll have your apples in the pie by the time you're putting it in the <laughs> oven. So now I want to put a little bit of oil just to get this dough off my hands. So, ooh, those apples look good already. <laughs> Tabi, you okay. need to help me with this also because I wouldn't That's want fine. to mess your. Um, just okay, with open the oil. this up for me. Okay. Then you will scoop just about one tablespoon. Mm. Greasy. So I'll just need one tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil. Okay. 
you sure needed Just help here to get that off <laughs> my hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> greasy, so I'm happy she's sticky. the one struggling with Good. it. Imagine yeah. if it was me. <laughs> okay, so we just put about one, uh, just one okay. tablespoon. You sure that's okay? Let's just see. We have the oil, we have the dough. We can always <laughs> add a little bit more, but this is fine. You don't need so much oil because mm -hmm. you're also going to put in some into that. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. The rule? Mm -hmm. Not too much oil. Not too much oil. Just healthy, very, fast foods. Very yeah. little oil all the time. So now. basically our dough, let me just ready now. Mm -hmm. So I'll begin to roll it up. Okay. And of course, divide it into two because you need a crust for the top and also for the bottom. So, so someone asked me one time, why bother with all these fancy, mm -hmm. fancy things when you can do ugali, skuma wiki and get done? Mm. You wouldn't want to have a very boring vegetarian diet, by the way. <laughs> if it's boring, you're not going to like it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And of course, pies, these are not things you do every day. Mm -hmm. You know, so yes. they're occasional things. Yeah. So why not? Why not give your family a treat? Chubby, let's not forget we are doing a fast food here. Fast food fast. Yep. Okay, so we are just about done with our rolling. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do, mm -hmm. I will grease this. And we will begin layering our pie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, maybe you need to hurry up with that. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So I'm going to put this inside. Huge, huge, huge. 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 It's going to do a very <laughs> but good that cover. Means, that means better pie for me, more <laughs> pie for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we know she likes sugary things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Healthy who, who sugar, doesn't, though. Who doesn't like that? I have a friend who always says, sugar loves me, Lois. Mm. I don't <laughs> love sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it is sugar okay, that loves I'm, me. I'm done, I'm done. Are you done? So this is what it looks like. Ah. Then we are going to mix. Put in the apples. And why the apples? Why are we so excited of about course. the apples? Antioxidants. Right. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. And Very every high time we talk fiber. vitamin C, Lois, I want us to remember, mm -hmm. we talk vitamin C and it is boosting immunity. So at this point, I'm just throwing in the desiccated coconut. Okay. Good. Now take this off. Oh, and the white just it blends it in so well. So... I think, Tabby, do we put this all in? Yeah, I think. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that why I bought a big <laughs> tree. Of course. <laughs> we need For it. For sure. She we likes everything it. in huge quantities. Okay, so that's fine. Then we are going to add in our homemade lemon zest. Okay. Uh, and I think it's at this point that we can just mix it up with our flavor that yes, was cinnamon cinnamon i'll help you with this quickly mm. uh, we also had our pre-soaked dates pre-soaked dates so that we are also putting in so just okay, get a cinnamon. half a teaspoon of that right. so when you soak it it becomes easy to work with see that and of course you will get the more <laughs> sweetness from All the dates right. If you like, you could also blend this as well. Okay. Okay. So ensure when you're cutting your bread with the cinnamon. I think we need to tell them, Tabby, <laughs> yes. that when they'll be cutting the pie, yes. try to get on the pass that actually had more dates. <laughs> you told us something about dates. Yes. Then what was that? Because other than the sweetness... I would want it here. Okay. In the, so in the, in the zest. Yes. Huh? Good. So I just don't want it spilling over. 
So what else are yeah. we putting in here? So what, okay. what, why would you want to put lemon in this? What, lemon what? will... Uh, so first this is the organic brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Of course, the more the better. <laughs> Just lemon. once in a while you can enjoy something very sweet. Eh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine. It won't harm you. So the lemon, other than all its other benefits, mm -hmm. will preserve the color. Because uh, when, when um, apple is sliced up, Mm -hmm. It discolors. So you, the you lemon put, mm -hmm. will, yeah, I've just put one there. Mm -hmm. Just add another. You just want an, you want more in there? Oh, yeah, sure. When it's my turn. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I'll give you. When it's a recipe I like, you want to. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. I will. I will. I'm when lawyer. she's working on something, she's very okay. intemperate with the Good. ingredients she likes, Good. but mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, there. Okay. Now mm -hmm. that surely is enough. Okay. Okay, well, we are done. Just to make her happy. <laughs> so just okay. So we mix that in, and it this goes is the over cinnamon here. together with the lemon zest, mm -hmm. and that's it. And that really, is it. so it quickly will go in here, and so we'll we begin should. our layering now. Uh -huh. Very quickly, put that in, and the oven is ready. We have. Preheat it for me, please. Uh -huh. Just ensure that. Wow. So it smells That's very nice. Wow. Cinnamon has a very nice, and I think we'll sprinkle a little bit on top. Eh? I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. We can have that done. Mm -hmm. So we'll just, we'll not be very. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it. Okay. So this goes into the oven. I think let's just put we'll in some it. oil. Yep. Olive? No, coconut. Coconut, coconut. Of course, we have used... Where is the coconut it's oil? It's right there. Okay. Right Fine. next to you. Mm -hmm. The spoon? Want to spring. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of oil will do. And we forgot. Yeah, just yeah, all Yeah, but you need over. to do now the top of it. Okay. Yep. Just a that's okay. That's okay, fine. That's fine. Some little salt, just a little bit, mm. just to sprinkle <laughs> on top. <laughs> okay, there. Open it up open and it up. whoops, there we go. Oh, this fast food. <laughs> and there you go. We are done. So this goes right into the oven. Of course, we will cover that. Yep, and it's ready to go. All right, we are done, and oops, I think we just missed the time a little bit with just a few seconds, and <laughs> though with yours, you do it perfect so that you don't have to have this spot there. <laughs> now, this is what our product looks like, but it will be very sweet and juicy inside. So, so that there is mm -hmm. the apple. Please remind us. Zeti apple right. pie. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Then just show them this. Let's see how it <sighs> looks. See uh, that shepherd's nice pie. shiny yellow color and the shepherd's smell is pie. Mm. The aroma is <sighs> okay. <laughs> so okay. that is what we had for you for today. We were glad that you joined us for today's show. Until next time, please enjoy your fast foods fast. I was your host, Lois Otienda and Tabitha Ochieng. And we'll be glad to have you back. Bye. Bye.